All right, so this is going to be a pretty uh, quick video, but this is a fairly important concept. So in 3D modeling, we have lots of different types of space. And what I mean by that is we use different coordinate systems uh, to describe different features of objects. Uh, you'll often hear, for example, UV or UVW space, which is the 2D uh, surface of an object. There's also global space and then there's local space. So Blender has both a global and local coordinate system, and we sort of hinted at this when we learned that you can apply uh, rotation, scale, position, etc., to an object, so that when you grab an object and rotate it or move it, uh, that scale or that rotation isn't actually fully applied to the object. So let's say, for example, I have this cube, because this will be easier to show you than to describe it, um, and I'm just going to SZ to scale it in Z, GZ to bring it up, and I'm just going to rotate it like R minus 35. So we've got like a 35 degree thing here, and maybe I'll just put some legs on this. You can imagine this is like a slanted table. So S shift Z to make some legs, and I'm just going to GZ to bring this up. And you don't have to make this thing. This is just to illustrate the point. So imagine we've got this slanted table here. And what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to rotate it um, around its own axis. So say, for example, here, if I've got, uh, you know, maybe an object here on top of this, and I would like to rotate this around its own axis. Um, well, how can I do that? Well, if I hit RZ, it's going to rotate this around the z-axis. And that's because it's rotating this around the global z-axis. So the, you know, the global z-axis is up. The global y-axis is back this way. The global x-axis is to the right. But what I'd like to do is rotate this around its own axis, which is this direction. So you can see uh, you know, coming out of the face of this object because we rotated it. So if you select the object and you hit R, Z, Z, you can see that it's now rotating around its own local axis system instead of the global system. So because we rotated this object and we didn't apply that rotation, it has its own local coordinates that are different from the global coordinates. And in this way, you can make manipulations to objects locally um, rather than based on the global coordinate system. And these are also indicated here. So if you look up here, Transformation Orientation Global, there's a drop-down menu here, and we can actually select a number of different options here. So if I change this from global to local, and now I just hit RZ, you can see that this is now rotating by default around its local uh, axis. It's generally good to keep this on global, though, because you can just hit R and then hit Z twice, or X twice, or Y twice. Uh, to rotate uh, an object or a scale or whatever around its local coordinates. So I'm just going to hit RZ45, oops, RZZ45 to locate, to rotate this around its local coordinate system. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply that rotation. So if you select the object and again hit Control A and then rotation and scale. So we're going to apply the rotation and the scale of this object. Now, if I hit RZZ, you'll notice that its local coordinates are aligned with the global coordinates. So, and if I go back here, if I hit N and I go into the item details on the right, when we've applied transform, essentially what we're doing is we take its local um, coordinates and we are applying that so that it's sort of realigned with, with the, the global coordinate system. So when you rotate an object, it gets a relative orientation relative to the global system. And then when you apply it, uh, it takes essentially the current position of the object and sets that to be its, its current relative rotation as zero, zero, zero. So that's it for now. Next, we're going to learn about uh, normals and smooth shading.